Uh, so in this video we're continuing on with our Earth geometry stuff, longitude, latitude. Uh, this time we're doing something called finding angular distance. Uh, now you'll notice I'm doing something strange here. I'm using a pen and paper rather than a computer screen or a whiteboard like I normally would. Uh, the reason for that is because this can be a little bit confusing sometimes and I wanted to give you a really concrete way of doing this in an exam. So I'm going to use a pen and paper and I'm going to uh, do these questions as if I was doing an exam. Uh, so what are we doing? Well, imagine there's two uh, cities. Uh, here's our Earth and here's the equator. Now let's put uh, one city here in the northern hemisphere and we'll say it's uh, 45 degrees north and uh, 30 degrees east. Now remember what that uh, latitude and longitude means. It means it's 45 degrees north of the equator and it's 30 degrees east of what we call the uh, meridian, the great meridian here. So 30 degrees east of that, 45 degrees north of that. Now let's look at a second point. Uh, I'll put a second point here and we'll say that that's uh, 30 degrees south uh, and also 30 degrees east. Okay, now let's see what this point means. This means it's 30 degrees south of the, of the equator, and it's also 30 degrees east of the Great Meridian. So what that means, because this is 30 degrees east of the Great Meridian, and this is 30 degrees east of the Great Meridian, that means that they're directly above and below each other. Okay, so in other words, if you started in this city, and you went directly north, you would eventually end up in this city. Now we need to find the angular distance between those two places. Now you can see that we are 30 degrees from the equator here, and we are 45 degrees from the equator here. So altogether, the angular distance from this point to this point is 75 degrees. Uh, hopefully that's not been too confusing so far. Now that's the, I just wanted to show you it on a globe first of all, but I don't think it's the best way of solving these types of questions. So I'm going to write a couple of questions and then we're going to run through them step by step so you can see the sorts of ways that I would solve them. Uh, so you can see I've written four uh, questions here. The, the start of the question is always the same. Find the angular distance between, now I've got uh, four sets of two cities here. We want to know the distance, the angular distance between this city and this city, the angular distance between this city and this city, this city and this city, and this city and this city. Now different uh, classes are going to do this in different ways. I'm going to show you a foolproof way, a way that means that you don't stuff up. Um, there's a little bit of setup involved, setup that other classes won't have to do, but we're going to make up for it by the fact that we never get them wrong. Alright, so uh, let's set this up. Uh, my advice to you is any time that you sort of walk into an exam situation, something like that, you start this with a blank piece of paper. Boom. And on this bank, blank piece of paper, we're basically going to put a map of the world. Now, it's not uh, the whole map of the world. We're not going to actually draw all of the countries or anything like that. What we are going to draw is just a simple line down the middle here. Sorry, that should be in the middle. And a line down the middle here. Now, this line here means the equator. Okay, and this line here is the Great Meridian. Okay, now you might remember this from like previous maths. It's a, it's a Cartesian plane essentially. Um, here's our origin at 0, 0. Now, um, we measure the Great Meridian. We can do that up in like 30s. So 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. And that's where it ends, that's where the north north um north pole is. Now they're all norths, north, north, north. I promise the, there'll be a payoff here at the end that means this the, all this math becomes really, really simple. 30 degrees south, 60 degrees south, 90 degrees south. Okay, so you can see we've got a, a north and a south here. Now we need to do the same here with east and west. Now it goes 180 degrees to here and 180 degrees to here. So you need to be a bit careful about how you do this. 
Uh, we'll go up in 30s again. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. And importantly, you have to realize that that, you can't see my 180 there. There's my 180. Now realize that that's sort of where the world ends in one sense, but not in a true sense. Now I'm going to go over here to the other side and do the same thing. Uh, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and put in my numbers, 120, 150, 180. Now again, that's sort of where the world ends. Now all of these are wests, www, and all of these are easts. Now, uh, I know that there was a lot of setup there. You only have to do it once, uh, for, and you can do as many questions as you want on this little piece of paper. So here's our map of the world, and we can place any of our, of our things on there. Let's do our questions, see how they look. So our first question was this. Find the angular distance between 27 degrees north, 40 degrees east, and 32 degrees south, 40 degrees east. Okay. Now, both of them are 40 degrees east, so they're both in line with this point here, 40 degrees east. Now, one is up here at 27 degrees north, and one is down here at 32 degrees north. So you can see the angular distance from here to here is going to be equal to this distance, which is 27, plus this distance, which is 32. So the answer to this question, all of this has been a bit of a payoff, equals 27 plus 32 equals 59 degrees. So the angular distance between those two things is 59 degrees. Now you're probably looking at that right now and saying, why didn't I just add those two numbers together? Because things get more complicated. The reason they get more complicated is because the Earth is not a flat piece of paper. The Earth is a circle. And you want to be really careful about the way you do things. Now let's look at the second example. 59 degrees north, 70 degrees east. 83 degrees north, 70 degrees east. Now this time we're 70 degrees east, so I'm just going to go there really quickly. There's 70 degrees east. Now you'll notice the difference between this question and the last one is that both of those cities are in the northern hemisphere. So one is at 59 degrees up here, and one is at 83 degrees up here. And we want to know the angular distance, we want to know this distance. Now this is where it gets confusing because this time, in order for us to find this distance, the only real way to do it is to know that this distance, know this distance, and subtract one from the other. So if they're in the same hemisphere, like this picture here, we're going to have to do some subtracting. So this one's equal to this length here, which is 83 degrees minus this length here, which is 59 degrees. Now if we do 83 minus 59, we're going to get 24. So the angular distance between this point and this point is 24 degrees. Okay, two more. 30 degrees south, 40 degrees east. 30 degrees south, 120 degrees east. Now hopefully you're looking at this and you're realising what's going on. This time we've got two places that have the same um, it, the same latitude, uh, longitude, sorry. 30 degrees south and 30 degrees south. So one is at 30 degrees south, 40 degrees east. So right about here, that's 30 degrees south, 40 degrees east. And one is 30 degrees south, 120 degrees east. Okay, uh, this is where it starts to get a little bit confusing because you need to decide, oops, hang on, there's my picture there. So again, for 30 degrees south, 40 degrees east. 
and 30 degrees south, 120 degrees east. Now it's pretty obvious in this case, but I just wanted to make the point that remember that this is the Earth. So there are actually two ways that you can get from this place to this place. You can either take the direct route from here to here, or you could start here, go here, off the edge, which brings you back to the other side, because it's a sphere, and here. So that's the long way, but we don't want to take the long way. Obviously, we're going to take the short way. Now, in order for us to find that distance, we need to know this distance and this distance and subtract one from the other. So this distance is 120 and this distance is 40. So the angular distance between those two points is going to be 120 minus 40 equals 80 degrees. Okay, one last question here, and here's one where you have to sort of think about it a little bit. 70 degrees north, 150 degrees east, and 70 degrees north, 120 degrees west. So, let's look at it in our diagram. 70 degrees north, which one is it? 150 degrees east, right there. And the other one is 70 degrees north, 120 degrees west. Okay, so two countries here, and hopefully you can see that there are two ways to get there. One, you can fly from here, fly, 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 or in your boat, do whatever you're going to do, and you get to there. Or the smarter and faster way to go, start here, go here, pop out this side and go there. Okay, so really we just need to know this distance and this distance, and we can add them together. Now, there are other ways to do this, but this is the way that I like to do it. Now the distance from here to here is 180 minus 120. Sorry, let's try that again. 180 minus 120. That'll give me that distance. But then I also need to add on, we can put these in brackets if you want to. We're going to also need to add on this distance, which is 180 minus whatever that is, 150. So when we do that, we get 60 in these brackets, plus 30 in these brackets. The angular distance between this point and this point is 90 degrees. Whew. Okay, uh, you can see that there's a fair chunk of work there, but once you get the hang of it, uh, you can move much faster through it, and then once you have this particular sort of map drawn up, you can get through all of these angular distance questions uh, really, really fast. Uh, now one more thing that I really need to mention here is that when you're finding these angular distances, you're either going to be moving from directly east to west and directly north to south. We're never going to ask you questions where you have to move diagonally across the world. So you'll either move up, north and south, or east and west. Okay, that particularly long video was finding the angular distance uh, between two places.